troopers, it's me, Tara. We gotta get on to episode 22 of Love Island because none of us can wait. Make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, share this video if you haven't already. Also, go to rejectnationshop.com and get your Halloween gear on. This is a design that I came up with, with Roxy helped me out on picking the, who is the other host on The Real Rejects. She's right here. I'm right here. Here's our horror villains. It's awesome. Celebrate the spooky season with us. Go get it at rejectnationchop.com. I love this sweater so much. It comes in black too, and we also have it in a t-shirt. Thanks to Prepper for helping edit down this video. Love you so much. And yes, on Patreon, you can get a watch along so you can sync up with your own copy and watch Love Island with me uncut. It's super fun. We have like a little TV family movie night. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't already seen me on The Real Rejects, obviously go to The Real Rejects. I react to movies and TV over there all of the time. We need to get into Love Island right now because they left us on such a cliffhanger, dude. Like it was shocking. The video message from Casa. Oh that God. was terrible. <gasps> that was like the most awful thing that they could have done. I get it though. The producers were like, this is what makes great television. They are getting cozy, bro. And that boy is like, this is not <laughs> Kayla. You don't do that shit. This is some bullshit. Kendall with that line. Ooh, you put Nicole off your scent with that line a little bit, buddy. Not a smart move. <gasps> Ariana, Ariana is here. That's right. It's like the fire pit juicy stuff. And I've been feeling shitty. It was anticipating when you were getting it on in the bed, dry. Yeah. Woo! Tell me, what do you think I saw? I think we just need to chow, so. I mean, I got all the time in the world. Uh huh. Yeah. Idiot is what I am. No, I'm you're a fucking idiot. You're not an idiot. You're not, honey. He's just good at compartmentalizing. It makes him a fucking loser, and he is going to fuck up something so good. It's not good. Like, I'm just no, delusional. No, I mean, you're good. I'm you're just good. delusional. You're not delusional. You're good. Because everyone else here believed it as well. Yeah. You stayed true to your feelings, how you felt, and how you felt was what you saw and what you were told. If that's how you fucking move, buddy, then I don't want you anywhere near my life. All right, Kayla. If he has a connection with this girl, then it must be amazing and that's fine that's what Aaron deserves but and then it doesn't help if Kendall's sitting there talking yeah that was the worst part you don't get off on little itsy bitsy shit the stuff you do is genuine and comes from your Liv. heart you don't get off on Liv is coming through a sick feeling in your stomach like it breaks my heart I yeah. feel so angry and upset and just Frustrated. If Kayla doesn't come after Aaron, live well. Two that these men did the no, sorry. These boys. <laughs> nice correction, Liv. I just, it's still like the boys are good at compartmentalizing, and like I'm sure he's gonna come back and be like, I did it, but like I missed you the whole time and I love you, Kayla. You have my heart, but she's broken. I don't know. That's ass slap. Okay, yeah, you're right. That is wild. Poor Serena. 22 year old Mandu is get me worked the f up. Hello. And it's exactly why I move the way I move. And I move slow because you never know what the f can happen. Like that part of Serena is like. He's telling me all these things and everything that I want to hear, whatever, whatever. And then, like, before that, I was never really physical in the bed that same night, the night before he left. Pretty fing physical. <sighs> yeah, she's like downward spiral right now, which makes sense. That man was dry her in yes, the bed, yes, smacking her yes. ass. Grabbing and, and shaking. And shaking. The first bitch that gives you attention, you act like this, yeah. you're grabbing I don't want to be in the villa with him and another bitch. Oh, God, what is going to happen? I'm ready to rip him to fucking shreds. Oh, Serena's going to get at him. So, I mean, the way Cordell was smacking that ass and dropping and kissing on her neck and she kisses, you know? Wow, we're out here sleeping with the fucking mosquitoes. Are you fucking yeah. kidding? Oh, uh, yeah. That's what I was saying. It is. It looked like the disrespectful yeah. piece of shit. Yeah. It's not like, you guys. I... It's true, Janae. Like, you all do not look dumb that you were that you were in soul ties because you just loved and cared so much. Imagine if you didn't, you recouple, you're happy. You find out later, you're going to have time to process the shit or uh, they're not going to know what's coming Thank out of Thank the f***ing lords I found. Now he moves this way. That's true. Because the fucker's from a different fucking country. Imagine. Imagine that. Thank you, God. Thank you so much for showing me this shit. Because holy f 
Leah can't take it anymore. Kayla's having a straight up breakdown, but I don't blame her. Like everything she was, she is still in love with Aaron. So this is like the most painful thing that she could have experienced, which fully deserves a full on meltdown. Obviously. I found myself just thinking about Kayla when I was by myself. Mm -hmm. I was like, I think that's my, I think that's my one. Just because I know Kayla so well now, I'm like, I just so I feel like I'm so invested, but which I feel, I do feel bad. I don't feel, I don't, I don't, I, don't, I shouldn't feel bad. You shouldn't. You've done nothing wrong. You should maybe feel bad a little bit. For like coming in here and not just like going through the motions. You felt something with her and you freaking went for it and you saw what happened. It just makes you and Kayla that much stronger. I mean, it's a lust thing. Like a new thing comes in town, like I was saying. I hate wording these things. I always struggle. In my head, I'm like, right, I'm gonna say like this and I get there and it just comes out as diarrhea i can't believe this like kaylor's never gonna let him back in and the fact that you know this had to come about for him to be like she's the one type of thing this is rough she really likes you that's not gonna go away i really want to respect daniela and her like opportunity in this place so i just need to be like open and honest with her about the whole situation so just good advice oh my god okay yep I'm trying to like figure out in like my mind like what I want to do and what I don't want to do. So I didn't expect to like find like a connection like coming in here down in the villa with Kayla. Like I feel like I've still got something really good there and I really, yeah. really care about that girl. You I just... really do like you and it kind of sucks. You kind of realize, wait, he is technically like in a couple or whatever and he is the strongest with somebody else. And I don't want to be, I never want to be the person that's in between that or try to like force you to be in it. And I feel like that kind of pushed me back a little bit. Well, you already got in between it, honey. Disaster of the villa right now. From the day Dot that came in here to now, I've still been thinking about Kayla the whole entire time. See, of course, like the producers will never show her that. This is, I wonder. I just want you to be happy regardless. And if there's someone down there that will make you happy then. Yeah. That will make me happy. He's like. Pushing him off on, on Rob. Pushing her off on Rob. I think like he needed to like see if there's anything here. My mind is very much so much clearer now and we'll see how things go. Oh, I do this. Pretty cool. Oh shit. <laughs> you gotta stop doing that. That's so bad. <laughs> You're stupid. Oh my God. Like I was literally thinking in my head, if Kaylor goes home and then watches the show and sees that footage, she might be like, oh, and like text him and they might get back together. But then like him just going in to kiss her automatically is like, ah, it's a train wreck. What are they going to show her? What is she, who is she texting? She just watching the video again? I mean, you have you watched that clip about 30 times. <laughs> You've been trying to. Kayla, what are you doing? Please stop her, guys. I mean, it's, I don't know how you, what do you think about it? How do you feel? <laughs> do you feel like you've been betrayed or do you feel like. Duh! What kind of question is that, buddy? None of those things are your fault, though. Just, it's it's all him. It's his, it's his doing. Like, talk her up. If I was a guy, I'd be like, listen, Kayla, you're beautiful. You're smart. You're funny. You got this. This is going to be a blip, and the rest of your future is going to be bright, honey. It's just going to be a blip in your timeline, you know? What's happened down there? Wait, they can hear them screaming? I, I did not know that. Because remember before when they were screaming, on like, 4th of July or whatever, and they, they were like, why do they have fireworks and we don't? And they were, like, yelling? I did not know they could actually hear each other. That's wild to me. Okay. What's up? Hi. God, everybody loves Rob. He has a look. Like nervous someone that can make somebody. I'm sorry. I avoid contact. No, don't. Not anymore. Stop. What do you While we're talking, at? at least don't. See how like cute he is with his stupid little smile? Yeah, because I'm a yapper box. It's like a good thing. That's okay. I don't talk a lot, so. I want someone. I That's actually not true, though. I do talk a lot. I just have to. God, Rob. I go back and forth on this guy all the time. I'm like, I get it. He's cute, but like. But I think that's a good thing. I like that <laughs> in people. I came you in think... here wanting either like a black cat or a golden doodle or golden retriever. Black cat, baby. I have two. I came in here and you were definitely number one, but so I didn't know if like you didn't want to talk to me. I did want to talk to you. Because of him though. I've been feeling robbed. I've been wanting to have that conversation. Okay, Daniela. I was interested in you, like from the start. Well, you make it kind of easy because you don't even look at me. 
it throughout the day. So like it, it made, you made it easier. Trust Sorry. me. Trust me. Trust me. You did. Oh my God. Daniela is definitely like more my speed as far as like conversation and just like vibe. And she's really pretty. And I, I like what she has to say about most things. So I enjoy talking to her and I would like to talk to her more. Okay. All right, Rob. And then I was like, oh, you're such a great person. I was like, I wish you could come back to the villa no. just so you could find someone, if not here, in the villa. And as no. soon as I said it, I was just like, you fucking idiot. If Rob does bring her back, then like, it's going to be a whole thing with like, Kayla oh, and stuff yeah. like that. Oh, yeah, you idiot. If Rob brings back Daniela. He probably will. That's going to get tricky with Aaron. I will tell you that now. Oh, my God, I didn't even think of that. Now I'm going insane. It's like, I'm just sitting here with my popcorn like... You are not going to just be sitting in there when you go to the campfire because Nicole heard what you said and so did Kaylor. So you're in trouble too, buddy. You and Sierra, it's pretty obvious that you guys really do hit it off. She's a vibe. She's got good chat. Things are good with me and Leah back there. Mm -hmm. And I even said, I was like, so like, obviously, like I am looking to still get to know Leah. Well, you're, you're not going to be able to have both, Miguel. Come on now. I feel like it was a bit more like steady. You know what I mean? I ain't going to tell you, man, I'm 100% taking this girl back. But it's looking like a possibility still. OK. You have Kenny there. We, you, you stay in love with Miguel. And then you have, like, safe vibes, you know, like the safe husband. Vibe. You know what I do, yeah, I, bitch. OK, so. Yeah, obviously. Leah's like, I take the most unsafe option, please. I don't think Kenny's acting up over there. And I hope he's not. I hope he's not. He's not, really. He hasn't, right? Right, he's done some flirting, but he's not, he hasn't done anything intense, right? Where my head is at, I guess, is you were the main person that I was interested in. So what's the bad situation tonight? I want to cuddle with you. Okay. <laughs> we'll say we're bad tonight. Dangerous waters we're getting into. I didn't know that he's also only known Janae for three or four days. Love Island's insane. It literally, I'm like, oh, they've known each other for years. Kenny pulled me aside and was like, I want to sleep with you. I'll snuggle you, baby. I had good intentions, but poor execution. Clearly. What do you think about sleeping with me tonight? Yeah. Yeah. I'd love to. She said F, yeah. Oh, oh, no. Did the producers tell him that he should sleep in soul ties? And I don't want to give him the satisfaction of my tears, like, he oh. doesn't even deserve it, but... No, oh, you need to let it out, Serena. You can't hold that back, honey. It's gonna come and eat you alive if you do. Oh, it's just because he didn't want to sleep with Catherine. Wow. Look at that come full circle, and Aaron's in frickin' soul ties, and Kayla is like, I will burn you to the ground! Like, it's just so sad, because, you know, I do think he had... He just was treating Casa more as his experience and like a test that he needed to take. And obviously, Kayla is just, she's broken. She she never, the girls don't see it that way. We've been waiting for a while. We got our women waiting. We got our women waiting. Hopefully, it's not bad for us. It's gonna be bad for you, baby. That's yeah, sweet. Hey, this is for Kayla. Oh, yeah. Oh, that is so stinking sweet. You did you did a really good job. I love when I like just look like toned and like nice. Like I have like when I'm working out consistently, abs. like yeah, my abs like really pop. come up. Pop. She's got abs there. Pop. I'm a bit restrained when it comes to like physical and like sexual. I see that affecting a little bit how I go about things like my movements and yeah. stuff. I was gonna say that's a bummer because I was um, coming over here to hopefully get a kiss. I mean, I, 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 I <laughs> Oh my God. Down. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, we had like a good concern. I don't, does he want, did he want to? Like, I, I, but he's conflicted, I get it. I, I mean, I do like that she's forward, cause it's like, well, if you guys don't like kissing each other, forget about it, right? Cause man, oh man, you could like somebody and they're a bad kisser and it's like, nope. You have nice lips. I was like, very soft. Thank you. I was gonna say, you did too, yours was like really soft. I know, I'm sorry, I was like, damn. Oh, no. He said, Lip gloss. <laughs> okay, I have to pause here because someone needs the studio. So I will pick back up in like an hour or so. so All right, guys, I'm back. I know somebody needed the studio. I left and I couldn't come back that day. 
the next day tested positive for COVID. Been fighting off COVID for like a good nine days. So I'm back. I do remember this episode, okay? So as we know, I kind of stopped at about like 35 minutes in. Um, so I'm going to continue here. Uh, sorry for the interruption, but I'm just so happy to be back. I can't wait. Like I just, I have been dreaming of like what's happening on Love Island. I'm missing it. So I'm happy to be back. Um, let's just, let's get into this. Um, Jalen is a huge Lakers fan and LeBron himself would be proud watching him attempt this ambitious rebound. <laughs> I thought you were going to make me breakfast. You know what I was going to, but I didn't know what you liked. Like, do you like Chats. eggs and bacon? I got bit right on my ass. Wait, where? She's like, oh my, mm, I got bit right here. Take a look. No, you know, you always look good. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> oh my God, her bunda. My God, they are in soul ties. I mean, I just feel like I was like really like emotional. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I hate that. I want to hear her say. Oh my God, they're getting stealth mission over there to see what the heck they're talking about. I don't want to have regrets here, and like now I do. So it's not too late though. My God. Oh, so. Fuck out of hope after the challenges. Damn. You never. <laughs> I, no way. Yeah. How was how was the kiss though? Like with us. I'll give you like a eight. An eight. That's not bad. Are you sleeping outside again tonight? I really don't want to. Yeah. I don't want you to either. I mean, if he doesn't try and kiss her, he's a dumb dumb. So much like chemistry, like even just like glaring at each other, it's just like I feel something. I mean, it's weird, like because I know she's in love with Aaron, but I'm just saying it's probably a good opportunity to kiss her, even though she's like. I can't yet. Not just one. I can't yet. So you're gonna tell me no? Oh, Kayler. She cannot yet. I can't yet. I can't. She's just still so sad. It's been a day, buddy. You have to understand that. I'm in a vulnerable place right now, and my head's definitely not focused on kissing any men. Yeah, duh. Like, look at that. Like, how much are you supposed to move your hips to get that? Miguel? Oh, my goodness. Why are those hula hoops look so small? Guys, I got a tag! Oh, shit. Oh my gosh, Leah, she's losing it. What does it say? Girls, tonight there will be a recoupling. That's tonight? It's time to decide whether you want to maintain your current relationship status. Or recouple with one of the new boys. Or recouple with one of the new girls from Casa Amor. What? I don't feel like 100% on what's going to happen, please. I don't want to do this. Why so soon? I just need like one <laughs> more day. <gasps> what? Oh God, Cordell. That, it, it really is going to be in flames. Oh my God. Wow. It's only been like a few days, right? He's amazing too, but it's just like, I'm not forgetting about Kenny. I think I have a lot of thinking to do and we have such a short amount of time. Yeah. I. I don't know how anybody could make this decision in just the time that they have. The decision is just hard, just thinking about what I have in the villa and that connection that I've established. He's going to go with Janae. And if he does, uh, finally, Janae in this is like winning, which will be great. I'm talking with you, and I definitely think you're like super attractive. She was going to go to Miguel. Don't know where my head's at. Don't know what I'm going to decide, but... Yeah. You're just like yourself, and obviously like, you're like attractive, <laughs> so. That's always good to know. But we'd make, yeah, we'd a... make good babies. <laughs> God, I wonder if she's thinking about Rob right now, because remember? I felt like I shouldn't have been doing it, but I was like, I kind of know I should do it, just for the sake of the process. Like, I've done it, so I just need to back it and just tell her the truth, and that's it. Aaron, you are in for it, buddy. Yeah, you better tell her the whole truth, because she's already seen it. Little do you know, honey. I feel like if I leave Daya, I will probably have regrets. But if I bring Daya, Serena I might feel some type of way. She might feel some type of way. She would definitely feel a type of way if you brought her back. Come on, Cordell. I love you so much, and I really hate that you're hurting this much, babe. I'm so sorry. I mean, the girl's been miserable. Oh. He has no idea.
what kind of wrath is waiting for you later. Now you gotta own up, buddies. Good stress. A bit worried. Don't know how it's gonna go. This is so stressful. I know what I'm doing. I'm just hoping everything goes right. I wanna wear black tonight. I don't feel right. It might be a funeral. So, oh my God. Yeah. Oh my God, he's so bad. I would be shaking if I was Serena or Kayla. I would be shaking if I was any of them because you do not know what they've been doing over there. I feel like I'm losing my mind. This is my, my lucky shirt, my shirt. We got your back, Kayla. Anything you do, okay? We send her right there with you. She's looking good to bring the wrath tonight. I can feel this miniature tornado brewing. We could have a storm on our hands. You, the storm is already brewing back at the villa, sir. I've never felt so much like anxiety and nerves. I'm just really scared because I know where my heart is and I hope that it's mutual. Oh my God. The stakes tonight yeah. are high. As yeah. I feel like I'm scared of what Miguel's gonna do. I don't know, this is a lot. I hate it. I think the villa will be up in flame. <laughs> Because you're about to light it up, Serena. I don't blame the ladies for feeling how, how they're feeling about a certain type of way because they didn't do anything and the boys went hog wild on it. And there's only one woman for the job. It's Ariana Maddox. Hello, Ariana. Looking good, honey. Hi, everyone. Hi. 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 Girls, you can stay where you are. Boys. Please come and stand with me. Oh, God. I'm gonna ask you each, one by one, if you'd like to stay with the boy you're currently coupled up with, or if you'd like to recouple with one of these gorgeous boys standing right here in front of you. They get to do it without the rest of them there? We're gonna start with our single girl, Liv. Leah's face. <laughs> you stole Rob. Then you were coupled up with Hakeem. He was then voted out. Yeah. It's time to find out what it is that you want to do. You can choose to remain single, or do you want to couple up with one of these boys? I do want to couple up with one of these boys. I seem so desperate. Ha <laughs> ha. Who would you like to couple up with? Kane. <laughs> His goofy smile. He's like, yay. You are now coupled up with Liv. Go and get your girl. They're cute. I thought Liv would stay single. I don't know why. Congratulations, Liv and Kane. It's funny, like, how Liv still seems, like, kind of closed off, where he was like, well, look at her, you know, whatever. And she's like, ah, she doesn't even, like, look at him. It's like, oh, come on, Liv. Okay, Nicole, you're next. Oh, she's going to wait for Kendall. Well, Nicole, you now have a choice. You can stay loyal to Kendall, or you can recouple with one of the new boys. I would like to stay loyal to Kendall. Yeah. My time away from Kendall has made me realize that I'm falling for him. And I think sometimes when you know, you just kind of know, so. That's sweet. If he walks in with one of the girls from Casa Amor, you will be single and vulnerable. But if he returns on his own, he is all yours. So let's find out. We find out now, okay. I mean, he's obviously not coming in with a girl. Oh, it's like so emotional, y'all. I bet you he was so nervous. <laughs> oh my God, that's so sweet. Oh, that's so cute. He's like, hi. They are so cute. Chatting with other girls and it just got to a point where I was like, no one comes close to the connection I have with you. You're honestly so special, so I'm happy that you're here. <laughs> that is so cute. I can't stand it. Okay, Leah, you're next. Please stand up. She's going to wait for Miguel, I think. So what have you decided? I am going to be staying loyal to Miguel. That's what we all assumed.
Oh God, Kenny, he's looking around like he already knows Miguel. Is Miguel gonna bring somebody? With Miguel, I just feel like we were heading in a really good direction and I just wanted to keep heading there. God. Miguel decided to stay single? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Kendall looks like he knows and it looks like he probably decided not to. I don't know. All right, Leah, you've decided to stay in a couple with Miguel. If he walks in with one of the Casa More girls, you will be single and vulnerable. I love how Olivia's like, <laughs> I told you I was okay, but I was lying. I was dancing with the. Yeah, I should have called that one. Of course. Yeah, I did. Oh my god. 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 Oh, this is so awkward. Oh, I'm sweating. I'm so... just because I might be here with her. I'm not in a relationship. I'm just here trying to get to know people to make the conscious decision, the right decision. What is he talking like circles about? Every time they ask me, do you think he's coming back with someone? I was like, well. Like, I know the man, like he is. I felt like you were. I still like him. I mean, Leah loves a bad boy, so I'm not surprised. Leah, you can take a seat. Thank God. I get high on the taste. God, do they all just sit next to each other? Right. I'm not y'all sitting next to her. Yeah, what? No. Why? That's where they have to sit? Janae, you're next. Okay, Janae. Before Casa Amor, you were in a new couple with Kenny. Yeah, she's going to stay loyal to Kenny. And Kenny's not coming in with anyone, which will be a good heartwarming story. I would like to take a risk, stay loyal to Kenny, hoping that he's smart. Because <laughs> if he brings someone back, it's going to be a problem. <laughs> what do you mean, a problem? I could be a little crazy, so if a girl comes back, hold my mic. Oh, she would not do anything. He, thank goodness he's not going to come back with anyone because that would be like, what would she do? It's just going to be him. We all know it. She's right. He's smart. Come on. <gasps> what? 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 <laughs> what? I never looking back. Home. Poor Janae. Wait, yo, get my suitcase. I'm so serious. I'm so serious, Ari. I want to go home. I'm uh -huh. done. Oh, I did not expect him to bring her back. Y'all had, oh, had a time. time. Y'all had a time. Oh. Please, boys who can't keep their hands off for two days. <laughs> oh, boys are coming into the heat. So you think within the time that you're in Casa More for like three, four days, you built a stronger connection with her than me? So tell me straight up, is it her, the stronger connection, or is it me? Do not waste my time. I like that she's asking him that. Fess up, buddy. Let's do this. I'd say at the moment, the connection that I have with you is stronger. I wanted to bring Kat because... I need it too. I felt like if with time, we could get to that point, and I wanted to give us more time. Okay. Every single time someone asked me how I felt, I said, I feel like this towards you, but I still have Kenny in the back of my head. You didn't do that, did you? Casa. Casa. Poor Janae. She's right. Kenny has recoupled with Catherine, which means, Janae, you are now single and vulnerable. Poor Janae. I ain't never looking back again, back again. Oh, she's eyeballing him, too. If I was that other girl, I, I would be like, I think I'm gonna go. Okay, Kayla. You're next. Oh my God. Ah! I, I don't even know. I can't even. It was the worst night I had here at the villa. Um, I got a video <laughs> and it kind of put things in perspective for me. Maybe I don't really know him. I mean, she's gonna stay loyal and then burn the place to the ground. From what I saw, I'm not going to stay loyal to Aaron because he wasn't loyal to me on his um, journey at CASA. So I think the best choice for me is just to stay, stay single. Okay. I didn't know they could make that choice. I thought they would have, like, have to choose. 
you've chosen not to couple up with any of the new boys, but also to become single. I think it's time to find out what Aaron has decided to do. Obviously, he's walking in single, but... If Aaron comes back alone, he will also be single. He's in for a rude awakening. Imagine Aaron's point of view. He's going to see her alone and go, oh, thank goodness. But then he's not going to realize, honey, I'm single, and so are you. Uh, I can't wait. This is the drama we come here for. Shit. Let's go! Oh, he, he has no idea. Oh my God. <sighs> You've got no idea, buddy boy. Welcome back, Aaron. How are you doing? Yeah, kind of good. Kind of good. I've had a video sent to me from Casa, so maybe go ahead first. I think it'll be better to explain after. I mean, I got all the time in the world. Let's hear it, Aaron. Yeah, what have you done? Tell us. Even though we already know, I want to hear it. I want to see how he tries to swing it. And then last night I received a video, and it was like you biting a girl's arm, and then you say, I want to kiss you right now, but I don't want to hurt someone. And I had Kendall in the video saying, that's definitely not Kayla. And Knight was comparing myself to whatever this was. Own that, Kendall. Like... And also, Kendall, I considered you one of my brothers, so having that reaction was really hurtful, not just from you, but from Rob as well. That's right. You tell him. D mm -hmm. Kaylor has chosen to be single, and as you were in a couple together, that means you are now single too. I just think we need to talk after. There's a lot to say, and I'm not going to say it here. Okay. Uh, like, why aren't you going to... Okay, whatever. Maybe swapsies. You did great, Kaylor. Yeah, let him sit over there on his little island and like really feel it. We also had a single boy in Casa Amor, Rob. God, did Rob come back with that girl that... <gasps> what if he brought back the Aaron, the Aaron girl? Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God! Oh, right, I forgot about that. Oh my God. Let's find out what Rob did. Is he alone? Oh my god. Oh my god. She's doing that sarcastically, right? Is that true? Oh, is it? Aaron, is that Daniela? She genuinely was happy for him, and then she just realized that it was it's Daniela. No, it's not. It is, honey. Welcome back, Rob, and hi, Daniela. Oh my God! Uh, what the? F exactly. Did you have a good time? Yeah, it was. It was really fun. Oh my God, Rob. Uh, and Rob, you're not alone. Daniela, welcome to the villa. Thank you. How are you Happy doing? To be here. How was your time in Casa Amor? It was really great. Uh oh. Oh God. Oh God, it's so awkward. Rob, what was it about Daniela that caught your eye? Honestly, I really like her outlook on life and her values. I like talking to her. Can't do that if I don't bring her back. You've had quite the journey. <laughs> Leah's so over Rob right now. You finally found uh, the right couple? Um, too soon to tell, but I think it's a good start. I'm happy. They are interlocked right now. Aaron, is that not weird to you? Mm -hmm. I'll tell you off time. Please go take a seat. Oh, God, yeah. Are you? Are you looking around, Rob? Like, where are we gonna sit? Rob, we got a video just letting you know of what you guys went up to. So we're so confused why Danielle's with you and not with Aaron. <laughs> Janae just called it out. We got a video and it's. You got a minute video. Like, I was just gonna explain after. Of you saying you wanted to kiss her. And you. He did kiss her. Plenty. Okay. I mean, I've been better. This is awkward as all get up. Serena, please stand up. Oh, right. I was like, wait, I thought we were like done, but we're, uh, duh, oh my God. It seemed like you guys were in a really good place before Casa Amor. She's gonna stay single. Me and Kayla were outside getting tore up by mosquitoes the past few nights. You can either stay loyal to Cordell 
or couple up with one of the new boys. I don't think she's gonna couple up. She's just gonna say single like Kayla. I would like to stay single. Yeah. You don't wanna couple up with any of the new boys. You don't wanna be in a couple with Cordell. That means you are single. If Cordell comes back alone, he will also be single. Got it. Show us the money, baby. Cordell's not gonna bring that girl back, right? Like. I think it's time to find out. Ah, this is, this is the one that I really don't know. I don't know what he's gonna do. I assume he's not gonna bring the girl back. I mean, they did have a really strong connection in Casa, but like, this is so much drama. Of course. They're looking. You're making a huge statement, Cordell. Oh, this is bad. Serena is standing alone. How does that make you feel, Cordell? Not good. Speak up. Speak, yeah, speak up. Seeing her alone, it's, it's not good. I mean. Oh, what? That's it. That's all it? It's tough. What do you mean? It's now or never. You got to speak the, your truth right now. I be feeling like, I ain't gonna lie, but I feel like a little shitty, but you know. It wasn't too shitty when you were getting it on in the bed, dry. Oh. Yeah, right? <laughs> Some of that has been took out of con context. Clues. No, no, there's no, nothing taken out of context. No, it, of it we got has. two clips, too. That's the the was very clear. Serena's laying in. It was pretty clear, Cordell, that that can't be taken out of context. And yeah, I disappointed but not surprised. I knew that once he got a little attention, he could get his little PD Whacker wet a little bit, he was gonna go for it. <laughs> PD Whacker wet? With Casa Moore being all about testing connections, Cordell, what was it about Dea that caught your eye and made you feel like you had a strong connection? This is so awkward. Bringing her back, you know, to see where it could potentially end up between me and Serena. What? This means that Serena is now single and vulnerable. Is there anything you'd like to say to Serena? Yeah, I'm sorry. Uh... Oh, she don't give an F right now. I get it. They're pay-owed. Cordell and Dea, you can join everyone at the fire pit. Oh my goodness. I'm telling you right now, also, if I was D Dea, I'd be like, bye. I think I should go home. Still. How are you gonna fit all these people in this house? So many people. What do we do? Welcome Destiny and Sydney. Bomb shows. You may now leave the villa. Yeah. We love you. Thank you so much. I'm still just wondering how the rest of them are gonna fit in the house. Casa Amor, the ultimate relationship test, is now closed. Janae. I mean, poor all the ladies. These guys just went hog wild on it, didn't they? Ugh, it's so awkward. Holy tamale, you guys. First of all, I thought I was going to barf in the beginning of this episode when they're like, let's share all of the spit, right? But then we skipped to, I thought it was gonna have a heart attack. Like, oh my God, I can, first of all, I did not call Cordell bringing back the girl. I thought he was gonna be like iffy about it. That girl was giving him, Dea was giving him everything that like he initially wanted from the beginning. She's like, I really like you. And just like laying it on thick. And Cordell was like, Serena took a while, but I'm like, oh my God. God, you know, I really do respect the girls like Kayla and Serena staying single because obviously I wasn't expecting Aaron to bring back the girl because we already knew Rob was going to. Freaking awkward. Also, like, honestly, if I was Rob and I was friends with Aaron and I really respected Aaron and I was like, you know what? You're going to go back in single. Um, Let's hope that Kayla is still going to be single. I'm not going to bring the girl that you were juicing it with back, even if I like her. Because it's like, it's awkward. Like, it's just weird. And I'm like, you, 
I get it that Aaron like kind of okayed it, but I'm still like, Rob, come on. Like, ah, like why? I don't know. I don't even feel they had like a day. Like, do they really have that strong of a freaking connection? And they're just like interlocked hands. And everyone's like, is that Daniela? And yes, it is. It's just, it's awkward. So weird. And I just think like, I'm glad that obviously Aaron came back and had to sort of like bite the dust, right? Because how awkward was it when he comes in and he's so excited? He's like, yeah, let's go. And we're all like, yeah, you don't know yet. Like, you have no idea. Like, ah, I'm sorry. Like, you know when you get like a burst of energy and all the adrenaline, then it drops. And that's when I start to yawn. So I'm not bored. I'm just like, oh my God, that was, that was so much. It was such a journey. Um, I'm glad that Kendall stayed true to Nicole, obviously. Um, Olivia and that other guy, I don't know how long they're going to last, but I'm glad that she's still deciding to explore it. But I'm surprised they didn't give us any pickups of Liv's face when Rob came back with Daniela. They didn't show us that. So I wonder if in the next episode, we're actually going to see how Olivia feels about this situation. Because it's not like her and Rob had any time to really build anything up, but they were going to have conversations and they really kind of know who each other, who each other are at this point. And oh my God, I don't even know what Kayla is going to say to Daniela or if Daniela... Oh my God, I'm sorry, guys. You guys know I just had COVID and it takes sometimes like... It takes a minute. It takes a minute. Obviously, I've been negative for days and days and days. But anywho, that's why I think I'm I'm yawning. Um, uh, I don't even know. Like, I wonder if Kayla's gonna be like, tell me what happened, you know, and then compare it to what Ayler's going, Aaron's going to tell her if he's gonna tell her the full truth because we saw it. It wasn't just like, oh, I mean, we saw it. The audience, like, you were you were juicing it with her. You know what I mean? Um. And the whole thing with Miguel, um, also Cordell did not explain himself very well at all. Like he just, I wish Cordell was better with his words and could really like explain to Serena, but like he did not do a good job of that. It was, it was a rocky road and Miguel didn't really either. He was just like, I meet this, you know, beautiful woman. I, but I also know that I still wanted to talk to Leah and I'm still open. But I'm like, he kept talking about how he's still open so once he gets to know Leah, I'm like, but you brought the girl back. Like, you, do you guys not realize how big of a statement that makes when you bring the girl back? Like, I guess I get it that like, of course you can still talk to Leah, but she's still going to be like, bro, wah, sorry, I keep yawning you guys. Like, what the F? She's still going to be like, dude, like, you brought the girl back. Like, I think, you know what I really respected? Janae asked, is it stronger with her? Is it stronger with me? Tell me now. Because right now, I don't think that Miguel would be able to, to know either. I wonder what he would say. Is it strong with, with, um, with Leah or the other girl, the Rihanna looking girl? I forget her name. Um, and you know what? Kenny didn't do a good job of explaining himself either. He was like, well, I guess right now in this moment, it would be with you. And I also kind of, thought about you where I'm just like, why aren't these guys just stepping up to the plate and going, wow, I wasn't expecting her to still be single here and I feel shitty. And like, even though I did build a connection with this girl, my connection is stronger with her. And had I known that she would be single walking in, I probably would have stayed single too. So I could be with her. Maybe that's of course not how they feel that they still want to like try to juice it with the new girl and see if they can get back with this girl and go back and forth. And I get it. It's not like it's been months. It's been a few days, but still, I just think like, they're like, yeah, it feels, it feels like crappy. And you know, I'm surprised and you know, I just didn't know And I'm like, why can't these guys just say like, I didn't know. And you know what? I really like you more, Janae. And if I had known, I, I probably would have just come back and been here for you, you know? But it's like, they can't say that. I just, I don't know. They're just like, they're dumb dumbs, you know? I, I can't wait for the next episode. I can't wait. I'm glad I'm back. I'm sorry I kept yawning. 
Ah, as you guys know, I had long COVID last winter and then obviously got COVID again. I was really, really scared that it was maybe going to be a long time for me. But um, at, in me having long COVID, I did a, a bunch of research on what things, on certain things that could help me get through the long COVID experience and this one. So it did bring me back. It did help me. Um, so I'm just, I'm happy to be back and back on, on, on the train, on the Love Island train on the reality TV train. Um, so that's why these episodes have been delayed, but I love you guys. Um, and I know some of you are probably still coming at me in the comments. You guys are like, she's not on the girl's side. I think someone was saying that. And then someone else was still talking about, I think Janae and, and Connor. I think I addressed that in the last video. It was like old news. I'm like, listen, guys, I'm just going by my gut. That's why I'm staying out of the comments because I don't know. I don't know if I could trust you guys. Ah, I think this episode was so stressful for me. I literally was sweat. I'm like, if you look at the t-shirt underneath, it's like soaked. Like, it was so stressful that I feel like my body's like tired. Like, stress tired. Um, that Because I don't know if I could trust you guys not to leave. Um spoilers in the comments. So I don't really like go through them. I kind of like a little bit, but then I was like, Oh, I don't know. There's, I feel like there's going to be spoilers. So anyway, I love you guys. Thank you so much for joining me on this journey. You know, the other show that I really, really want to do is the secret live of, of Mormon wives. I wanted to like watch the first few episodes and get it out right when it came out, but I had COVID. I may still want to cover that. We'll see. I think it's still like popular. You guys can let me maybe know in the comments, should I be covering that show? Um, I love you guys. Let's get to the next episode. Let's do this.